Hey guys, welcome back. So given all the multi-step skincare routines out there, we wanna really take a deeper dive into what every single one of these steps are, what these products are, what they do, and if we really need these in our daily routines. So the idea is that we're trying to figure out what are the products that our skin actually craves and needs naturally, and what are the products that are just kind of marketed out there to get our attention and to make, make us spend money. Yeah, <laughs> pointing at our imperfections. <laughs> So we recently made a video on how to cleanse and properly wash your face, which is the first step in any skincare routine. So today, we're gonna talk all about toning. And do we need it? Because products like toners range from like $5 all the way to $250 bottles. So oh is Lord. it worth it? So in this video, we're gonna talk about what toners are, how to properly use them, what the difference is between toners, micellar water, cleansing water, and essence, because they're all completely different things. But they all look like water. And the last thing, which is what is the best toner for your skin type? And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't joined our family already. And we're also started channel membership. So if you'd like to get two exclusive videos every month, be sure to join and we can chat. Q&A's, behind the scenes, challenges, anything and you guys want. Yeah, basically it's all for you guys, only for members. So click that join button next to the subscribe and yeah, we'll just get into the video. Yeah. So toners, what exactly are toners? Back in the day, toners were called skin tonics and they were just that, tonics for your skin. The first tonic water came out around the 1900s, about the same time as Eau de Cologne. It was made to soothe the nerves and to take fatigue out of the muscles. Many formulations are simple mixtures of perfume water, alcohol, and borax. And you can find borax nowadays in a lot of cleaning products, and you can also use it in homemade laundry detergent. So that was toners back in the day. Luckily, we're fast forwarding to present day <laughs> and there's no longer laundry detergent particles in our toners. They're also newly formulated to target all of our skincare concerns, be it exfoliating, cleansing, hydrating, brightening, or all of the above. So the basic science of Turner is that it gives your skin a quick hit of intense hydration, as well as taking off the surface layer of dead skin cells and make it nice and fresh and glowy. And you can think of it like a sponge. So if you pour water on a dry sponge, water just kind of sits on top of the sponge. But if you soak the sponge in water and then you add more water into it, it absorbs right away. So that's exactly like how Turner's work yeah. and your skin works. So the three main benefits you can think of for Turner's is that it shrinks the appearance of pores, takes away the impurities that are left on your skin or even dead skin that actually clogs pores to produce breakouts. And the most important part is that it restores the pH balance. So let's move on to what is pH, what does it mean, and what does it do, and why is it important? So basically it stands for potential of hydrogen. So the pH scale ranges from zero, which is acidic, all the way to 14, which is alkaline. And our skin sits kind of a little more towards acidic. So between 4.5 to 5.5. And after you wash your face, it fluctuates so Tona brings it back to the neutral state. Balance between the two spectrums. Balance. So in order for our skin barriers to work properly, we need to make sure the pH is balanced because if it's too acidic, then it gets too inflamed and yeah. red. And if it's too alkaline, then it gets too dry and dehydrated. So why this is important is because our skin barrier is responsible for keeping in lipids, natural oils, and moisture while blocking out germs, bacteria, toxins, pollutants, all the negative things that cause breakouts. Yeah, and like attack our skin. So if our skin isn't properly protected with the right level of moisture, with the right level of acidity, then it can't do its job. So all you need to know is that's what Turner is for. It's coming in to restore the skin's pH balance so it can fend off itself bacteria <laughs> and everything nasty in the world. And also to help the products in the future that you're gonna apply <laughs> to absorb better. So what- yeah, And everything nasty. I think there's two avenues that general consensus either goes down. You <laughs> either use a cotton pad or use your hands. And so for the cotton pads, I usually generally like putting it between my fingers two each and then swipe outward and upward. Wow, so <laughs> methodical. Oh, the cool. <laughs> And then there's the second way, which is what Felicia does. Which is just put it on my palm <laughs> and then pat it in. I really love the feeling of going Yeah. Because it is very hydrating and very calming. Yeah, and I feel like no product goes to waste. I just feel like with cotton pads, it just gets soaked on the pad. If you're using toner as a way to cleanse, like a second or third step mm. of cleansing, because yeah. sometimes we need that, it will help remove all the impurities. And if you're just using your hand, it won't do that as much or as well. Yeah. So you can also be like Mia. She does double toning. She'll mm. first use cotton pads, and then she'll use the 
Felicia way. Yeah. I like so, doing both too. Yeah. Like maybe if you're coming out of the shower, you do that because you're already clean. Yeah. But if you're just washing your face, just to get rid of all the residue, you do the cotton pad. So next, let's talk about the difference between toners, micellar waters, cleansing water, and essence. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Because they're all really similar. Cleansing water, which is basically purified water. Why are we buying this? Because it's infused with a lot of nice things. <laughs> Cleansing waters are usually infused with other things such as essential oils, plant extracts, collagen, and minerals. It's best used as a light refresh in the morning and throughout the day. So you can think of Turner as the like parent family, and then underneath that tree, there's things like beauty water. So this specific one from Sonam Park, it's called beauty water, and it's a toner and a cleansing water. There's willow bark and papaya extract, which are good for, like we mentioned earlier, brightening the skin. Naturally occurring acid. Yeah. So another one you might get Turner confused with is micellar water, but there's a huge difference here. Micellar water is basically just for cleansing your face. It's not for nourishing, and micellar water actually has the micellar cells that draw oil and draws water away from your skin, which is completely the opposite of what toner should do. So don't get those confused. <laughs> kind of like these babies here, these aren't toners. <laughs> They're stripping away your oils. They're really good at removing makeup too. Mm. Toner on the other hand. And next, there are essence. So the confusing thing when it comes to essence, that's a whole other thing. But you have an essence that's more goopy, more towards the serum side, and then you have essences that are more tonery. So maybe sometimes, like, just look at the consistency of it. It goes back to, like, simply speaking, the more watery it should be applied first, and then the thicker it is, the later on in the skincare routine. So next, we're gonna recommend you guys, depending on what different type of skin type you have, which is the best toner to kind of match up with those areas and those problems? So be a dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, dull skin, big pores. Yeah, <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> So if you have large pores, you want to look for toners that have HA or alpha hydroxy acid to help reduce the size and appearance of the pores. So we have two here. This is the Ren Clean Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic and it works wonders. And so here we have the Kelleluya, which has HA and also hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is good for replenishing hydration as well. So if you have big pores, try AHAs because they're actually a really gentle chemical exfoliant. But also there's the Pixie by Petra Glow Tonic, which you can get at Target. And also one that we found that was really popular on Amazon with 10,000 reviews was the Witch Hazel by Thayer's. Thayer's. And then you will find this in every single category because mm. apparently it's that good. And Witch Hazel is actually really good for inflammation as well. I think we're gonna go buy some after this. <laughs> yeah. It's only $9, why not? If you have dull skin like me, toners with natural exfoliants like papaya and lactic acid are great for brightening the skin. So like this one, this is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% with Hyaluronic Acid 2%. If you're just getting into HA, it's a really gentle one to use and it's good for improving texture, texture. brightening, color. And this bebe is only like $6.70, so thank you, Ordinary. <laughs> Otherwise, there's this Indie Lee Cocutane Toner and Burt's Bees Brightening Refining Tonic. Six! Dollars! dollars! And you can get that at drugstores. Yeah. For those of you with acne prone or oily skin, toners, yes, like me, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> you wanna look for toners, once again, that will help break down kind of the oils in your pores. So things like HA, BHA, salicylic acid, lactic acid, because this will then sink into your pores and break down the bacteria that's causing inflammation and pimples and things like that. My favorite three are one from Innisfree. It's it's the Beja Blemish Control Toner, and that one specifically got 2% salicylic acid, so every time I feel like I'm breaking out, I just like splash that all <laughs> over the face, just like. <laughs> Otherwise, there's this Fresh Herb Calendula Tincture Toner. It's like $16. Really good at inflammation. It calms, it moistures, it improves elasticity, it balances, and it suits. A lot of these toners, they cross over between mm. different skincare concerns. Actually, toners, I feel like, are the most overall type thing. Yeah. Like, what she... most fluid. Yeah. <laughs> so what she uses on her dry, flaky skin, I can also use for my oily, acne-prone skin. So we both use the Kaleluya religiously. Mm. It's also 
also got aloe, which is soothing, spinach, parsley, kale, and vitamin B5. And this is like $25, so it's also a pretty decent price. All right, next, if you have dry skin, like a me, make sure you avoid products that have alcohol because it'll further dry out your skin. And ingredients to look out for that are good for the skin are glycerin and hyaluronic acid, which will help you replenish and keep in and retain all that moisture. Lock that in. So all of these are incredibly hydrating. This one is my favorite one of all time. And it's deeply hydrating, as it says. There's rose petals, rose water, and rose flower oil. Beautiful to look at and beautiful for the skin. Uh, no, no. So there's also sodium hyaluronate in this product, which is actually much smaller in molecular size compared to hyaluronic acid, which makes it really, really hydrating. Other hydrating toners include the Thayer's Witch Hazel one we mentioned before, and also the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner, and then also the Calendula Tincture Toner. So if you have sensitive skin, you can use all of the above of the suggestions we mentioned because toner is like applicable to all, but you can look specifically more towards plant-based ingredients like chamomile or aloe vera, which are really known for calming and soothing irritated Redness skin. and inflammation. There's the Laneige Fresh Calming Toner and also the Clarins Toning Lotion with chamomile. And if you have combination skin, in theory, it sounds pretty tricky because half of your face is oily and the other half is parched and you may not really know what to do. Do you have to put different toners in different areas? Well, the answer is you can just use most of the products we yeah. mentioned earlier. The most important thing if you do have combination skin is rebalancing the pH level and just rebalancing in general. Because we both <laughs> have combo skin. It's like T-zone oily, dry and flaky on the outside. So that was a pretty in-depth exploration <laughs> <laughs> into the toning of the skin. Yeah, like, but I think toner at the end of the day is kind of an essential in the skincare it routine is. because of that rebalancing so that your moisturizers and serums can sink deeper into the layers of the skin. So while toners are very important in your skincare routine, how much you spend on it really depends on personal preference. Yeah. And, like your skincare concerns. It's like comparing these two, do they do the same thing? Probably, but it's One like, is like 10, 100 times the price of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it like comes down to brands, whether you're like ride or die for a type of brand and it just works generally for your skin, then just stick to that. But toners are one of the things that if you buy low end or higher end, it kind of generally does the same thing, I feel anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you're subscribed. Join the family and join the channel membership. Channel memberships. <laughs> We'd love to see you in our exclusive content. Thanks and bye.